Right, you might have seen on the last video, I had the QS205 72 volt 5000 watt hub motor. And I was telling you it was going to be for the Ram Rambler, Razor Rambler 16. Right, so it turned up, I did ask for 16 by 3 because that's what the tyre said. It was at the beginning of the stage of me starting doing stuff like this. I didn't measure the rim and the company I was using just took it as, oh, he wants a 16 inch rim. That turned up. You'll see that on the other video actually I've done. Lovely motor, brilliant hub motor, but with a tyre that's going to be a 19 inch, maybe a 20 in total. So that's going to be on a little pit bike. That's going to be another project coming up. But then I thought, I've got to have something for this Razor Rambler. That was the original build, I've got to do something. So I had a little look online, and all I saw was 72 volt, like over voltage, and what blew up the hub motor. Because the original hub motor is a 350 watt, um, and stuff like that. I've seen on a few Facebook pages, people have done the 3,500 or 3,000 watt hub motors, no videos, can't see them anywhere. So I thought, you know what, let's order one. So this is the 3,500 watt, hub motor and this is a 16 by 3 with the rim the original rim i think it's something like 13 and a half inches so then you've got your tire on top because the last one i can pull it on there the like what would be 19 but without a tire just to check it because it's got a lovely drop out so we've got this now so what we're going to do with this i'll quickly show you through it how much i paid and so forth um this will obviously go on the rambler it's three and a half thousand watts it's not as strong as the qs motors like no nowhere near like the qs i've probably put 200 amp through that um continuous this she said oh we'll only go up to 50 continuous probably could push it at 60 70 just keep check on it that it's not getting too hot and obviously the battery i'm putting on is 200 amp continuous so it's really overkill same with the controller um if you watch the last video i've actually sourced and had made a cable for the far driver controller so we don't have to muck about anymore doing separate power cables to the controller to the key lock to this that everything else when it turns up and you've got two female connectors instead of female and a male what's annoying like you don't mind changing connectors but if it's ready and you've got a nice cable you what you can just plug in either end all your parts or your controller it's done i haven't seen that yet anyone coming up with that i've seen a lot of people and a lot of people who are good at building saying oh too many cables going on i've blown it i've blown the system i've blown it up now everything else i'm not doing far driver but they're lovely controllers but now if this cable works i'm gonna have them made as well so hit me up in the comments please subscribe um don't cost you anything and i, I want to do more and more videos i want to grow this channel so if you could please subscribe that would be great before I, I'm going to put this on there just to show you it and stand it up. Um, just something else I want to show you. People ask about them a lot. So this is a this is a step down. Um, this is because on the original one, all the lights are powered off 12 volts, I believe, on this one. So I didn't want to have to buy new lights, everything else. I might do in the end, but then I've still got this because most lights are 12 volts to 24 volts. So basically with this, what we do, and I've got the injection to show you. So <clears throat> I'll stick um, a couple of ring terminals on this. So basically we have our negative and positive, what will go onto the battery. So go on the controller, two ring terminals on there. Then we have our other end and we've only got obviously the two coming off here, negative and positive. So what we do, I pull these. So what we do, we stick these in the end, like so. I've got bigger ones. These ones are only for four. I've actually got an eight one. But so we'll stick these in the end then what we can do, we can put our lights in. We can put our lights in, we can add a switch, put our brake light. So this will plug into the controller and 72 volts will be going through this because of that battery. But on the other end, it will pump out 12 volts. So it's a step down. So all we do, so we can run all up, we can connect a few of these and have whatever we want running through it. We could have our lights, you could even have indicators, you could have a horn, whatever you want. So this will nicely bolt on onto the bike and we can have all our original lights and we can have more lights whatever we want to put onto it so that's beautiful that was brilliant that was so but obviously everyone knows about them but it, i think it looks nice as well it sort of goes with the the cooling block on the controller so it looks quite nice so i just want to show you that um before we uh, before we carry on right so let's stand up and have a look at this so 
I asked him to put a tyre on it, so it was really done. Um, so, and this, it's not like the other ones, it's not spokes, it's not got spokes, this is all actual connected in, nicely bolted in. It's a nice, nice size hose, it says three and a half thousand, it looks like it could be, it looks quite nice. Obviously only having 50 amps, uh, they reckon, you can always push it more, but 50 amps, then 50 amps on the controller. We'll see, well, they reckon, they reckon you can get up, put it up on the screen now, but I think it was like 12, 1200 R, R, RPM or whatever. Um, they reckon we could get that out of it. And you know what, I'd be happy, I'm putting a 72 volt, if I could do 40 on it, it's only a Razor Rambler. And then maybe we'll source a, a 5000, either go metal, 8000 hub motor, maybe just fully built into the rim. I reckon they would get one in there. We'll see what we can do, that could be another build, but. I just wanted to get it going because it was my first really build up I brought and I wanted I really thought I was gonna put the five thousand in but yeah anyway so what we do I'm probably gonna have to change so you've got the face See, even the difference between this and the like the QS the phase cables are huge on the QS one and then even like the little wires for the um the hub um connector only tiny little ones, but we're going to change that to fit my adapter I've already got for the far driver. But to be fair, nice solid. What more can you say until it's on? I'll put the details on the screen. Um, nice and heavy, nice and solid. That's meant to be a three by a uh, sixteen by three tire, but that's a bit thin compared to the one on the front. I think, unless it's just my eyes, it don't look as wide. But um, yeah, it is what it is, so let's get this off. I ain't even put this try to fit this on yet, so I hope I'm probably doing this video and the drop outs might not even bloody fit, but here we go. Let's give it a try. So, we're obviously just going to go straight on. Are we in that side? See, don't fit. <laughs> right, I think I was about here because this is the next day. So, you saw me try and put this tire on and then me going with a naughty word, it's the wrong size. So I went back onto my order I had a look at the diagram they sent me. I was right. It should have been 210 axle and the drop out was 156. The axle is 156. So they sent me the wrong one. Straight on the chat that night. Obviously I had to wait till the morning because it's trying to the, the reply. She said, no, it is 16 inches. Please pull it off. That's what I said. I did pull it off. I said, uh, it's the wrong size. I sent her back the diagram. So they took a couple of messages back and forth. I said, look, I'm going to be showing this to people. People ain't happy. It won't be happy with your product. And straight away, she come back and said, my engineer said, don't worry, we're going to send you one with the 210 axle. It was his fault. I'm so sorry. I don't want you to look bad on, bad on our company. Um, and everything else. And I said, no, and they, everyone makes mistakes. I said, but if you're going to send me, obviously, one for free, uh, put the tire on, everything else, not a problem. People made mistakes. Um, I get to keep this one, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I do actually know what I'm going to about do with it. I'm about to show you. So, I originally wanted to take this on a little trip I'm going on in a couple of weeks. I, I said to her, I don't think it's going to be here in time. She said, I'll try and get it to you in time, but then I've got a building. So, I had a little plan. I looked at the front and I thought, the yeah, axle on the front's really small. And I thought, on a, on a bicycle, you can use a front front hub this is what i wanted to find out are they different hubs some people say they look way less so it helps at the front and so forth but i've seen people put three thousand five thousand on the front wheel so i thought what is the harm in trying i've got the wheel anyway let's stick it on the front do a little build out of it uh, and see if it works it might just be too heavy on the front there might be not enough friction on the back but we might have that arse on the back i should be putting enough friction on that back tire anyway so why not let's give it a try so i'll quickly show you how it fits <laughs> it might not be the right way i'm just showing you on the axle perfect 
Yeah, actually, he's the he's the perfect size for the front axle. So we're going to do that. We're going to I'm going to do a build, and I'm going to do it more. I'm not going to do it like this. So I'm going to do it more of each part I put on. I'm going to do a separate clip and stitch it together. Um, probably put the camera on my hat, look down at, so you can see what I'm doing. So it's a bit quick, so you don't get to have me talking all the time. I know it's nice sometimes at the beginning, so I want to explain the product. I don't want to be these people just building and going, look what I made. I made a 3,000 watt thing. And then you're like, yeah, but how did you make it? It's all nice seeing the videos of riding. I like them as well. And they will be coming more to my channel, but you want to know. You want to know what they are. You want to know how they fit. You want to know how much they cost. You want to know uh, the wattage, the amps and everything. It's all good being, oh, I can do this, but... That's the whole point, let's show you what we can do. So that'll be the next video after this one. We're going to put this on the front and it might not work, but what is it no harm in trying? We give it a try. We'll see what happens. It might just be too powerful on the front. It'll be no good, but we'll see. The only problem I'm going to have, I wanted to fit the disc brake on the back. And obviously on the original wheel, we don't have the bracket for it to fit the disc. But... I've got another bracket. You might have seen these if you're in razors. These are normally for like the MX 650s and so forth. SX 500s. You don't fit them in, but I drilled it out. So I'm going to put that on there. So the plan is, even when I fit this on the back, it still has it so the bolt is fully in. It's not got overhang, but it's fully in. And to be fair, if I'm putting the bolt on the other side, we'll see how it goes. I'll check after a while. We're going to put a disc on the front. And I know you shouldn't just have a front brake. You're going to end up going over the top. But I am going to get a back, a rear hub for this anyway. So it's only just to see if I can get it going and even take it away on me. Do a few videos. So obviously, I'm not going to want to be slamming on the front brake because I'm going to be doing an end and going over the top. But if we can get it going, I need some sort of brakes. And the original um, drum brake on this couldn't even stop me at 15 miles an hour. I went about 10 metres, 20 foot down further. So <clears throat> I'm going to put one on the front just so I'm not going to go mental. I'm going to, if I'm on a clear open rail, I know no one's there, I can bang it, it's fine. But if there's people about, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to be just slamming on the front brake. But we see, then we're going to fit this and see if we can get the disc working. I've got another adapter so we can try and fit it in and just see if we can get the disc going on this. And if we can, um, We'll see that build. And um, I'm going away because I'm going to the Highlands in Scotland. So um, at some point. So um, I would like to try and take this through a nice sort of the, the glens and, and stuff like this and just try and get a video on it. But that was the plan with the old one. But hopefully this is going to work. So we'll give it a try. You'll see that video coming up. Thanks for watching again. Please subscribe. Um, comment. I try that. People have been, I've been getting a lot of comments, which was nice. So I've been trying to answer as the best of my ability and doing my own bit of research and trying things out and then answering their questions. So if you have any feel of how to deal with Alibaba, how to talk to these people, how to get the best deal, anything, or even to do with the builds, like I'm, I'm learning, you learn every day is a school day. You learn. But if you need help, I'll see what I can do. I'll answer. I don't mind answering questions. So. Yeah, so cheers for that, and um, we'll see you on the build.